So, patch notes for Winter's Jest Phasmophobia. We got... I don't need that playing in my ear right now. Uh, we got... Winter's... Uh, welcome back. We've got an update for you. Krampus has arrived. Today, we're excited to release Winter's Jest Phasmophobia 2024 Winter Event. During the event, we're taking Ghost Hunters. We're teaming up together to complete a set of three different community goals. All in the name of rewards. You can catch up on details of Winter Jest with our latest blog post or head in game and check out the event board. Following on from our Halloween event, we've implemented a host of changes using feedback from those that took part. Thank you everyone who did. We wanted to take a quick opportunity to run through a few changes and improvements that you can look for in Winter's Chest. In an upcoming patch, Ghost Hunters will be able to track their contribution to the event with new in-game leaderboard, not in the warehouse. Note, this patch will be available later in December, but progress will still be tracked. We have an introduced daily and weekly tasks for events. These will Ask ghost hunters with earning event points and reward them with large sums of money as well as XP. We have lowered the overall scores required for completing the community goals. During Crimson Eye, we, mo we monitored progress and reacted accordingly to overall progress, which they did. Event points earned for this event's totem have been increased from 1 to 2. Event points earned for completing objectives have been increased from 2 to 3. Ghost hunters will gain additional event points based on the difficulty they are playing. 1 point per reward multiplier. Oh, cool. For example, getting the ghost correct on Nightmare would reward 10 points, plus an additional 4 points for the difficulty. Okay, that's cool. Winner's Jets will go live for... We already know that. Alongside Winner's Jets, we have also deployed a small update. Uh, Achievement Hunter Challenge has been uh, added to the event board. Players will need to play one game to receive the Achievement Hunter badge. So we'll take a look at that after I finish up Tanglewood. Uh, changes, main menu navigation can loop between menus. Example, players can now navigate contra contract board, main board, shop, contract board, main board, shop, contract board. Except you can't. Uh, that part's broke. Uh, but eventually, we will be able to do this. Uh, most played map stat will now track the correct map. Note, this will only work for new maps played after this change. Fix several issues that were causing crashes. Players can now rebind global push to talk. Fix an issue that was causing blood moon reflections in the Edgefield death room. Fix an issue that caused a seasonal event clock to count down to an incorrect date for some players. PS5 oviated, whatever, rendering will no longer cause the screen to wobble. Known issues navigating left of the min main menu will get you stuck on the future leaderboard location, which it also does it to the right, but that's where the leaderboard location is going to be at. When loading into a map, white squares may appear on each side of the, lower, the player's screen. If you experience any issues, blah, blah, blah. So that's the patch, everybody. So not just a very small patch, but just going over the event. So that's pretty good. 